Welcome to the All Things Fun Vidcast. I'm your host, Ed Evans. I'm here with my co-hosts, Allison Eckel, Glenn Walker. Hey. Hey, and we're here to talk about comics that released today, Wednesday, October 19th, 2011. Yeah. It's crazy. It's, uh, it's flying by. All kinds of stuff. Busy week, so we should get to it, guys. Lots we, of stuff we got here. F word. We do. You know, with the F word. Let's open with the F word. All right, it's all you, brother. Fear itself. Book seven is out today. Seven of seven. So of course it's uh, continued. It's continued in Fear itself, the Fearless, and in the epilogue next week. Seven point one, seven point two, seven point three. Uh, Fear itself is the final battle between Sin, the New Red Skull and the serpent, and pretty much everybody in the Marvel Universe. Uh, shock ending, folks, although you knew that was coming. There's a shock in every book of the series. Terrific art. Big thick book too, right? Big thick book, it's what, double size? Yep. And it's running at uh, $4.99. $4.99. Uh, this book has been full of terrific moments, and this is not an exception. Uh, Fear Itself the Fearless. Continue with it. Continues. Battle between Sin and Captain America. Invincible Iron Man. Matt Fraction again. Iron Man with his goodies from Asgard. We've got Journey into Mystery. Story of Thor and Loki. We've got the kids. Youth in Revolt. The companion book. The Home Front. That's all the fear itself this week. We've also got the first part of Shattered Heroes. In Avengers number 18, um, these are the Avengers picking up the pieces after Fear itself. Uh, Shattered Heroes is going to be an ongoing kind of like Dark Reign. Right. It's going to be the new, the new crossover event. But big deal is a new team of Avengers. I've also got Hulk, Hulk, Herc, Daddy's Mad again, Deadpool Max 2. So they would have sunshine without Deadpool, right? I'm feeling better already. Ultimate Comics Hawkeye, dude from the movie, Ultimate Universe, great stuff. And my favorite book, the last time it came out, Avengers 1959. It does not fail to impress this week either. Lots of Blonde Phantom, lots of Dominic Fortune. Terrific stuff. Howard Chaykin, goodness. I have a question. Yes. The, um, the Hawkeye. Yes. You said it was the dude from the movie. Uh, the ulti Which? Ultimate Comics... Mm -hmm. Thor, Thor, and the upcoming Avengers movie next. Okay. Next time. How do we know that that's Ultimate Comics Hawkeye and not regular? Just because he's not wearing movies, the right? cool purple suit. Yeah, and the but it's a movie, so ultimate. they're going to make up different outfits. No, okay. Right? No? We've seen the previews, and that kind of looks like Jeremy Renner. That's <laughs> how we know. Okay? <laughs> that's how we know. Okay. Um, all right. So the movies that we've seen, Iron Man, Thor. All that are they Ultimates versions or are they regular? Largely, mm. they're largely Ultimates versions. I mean, the Nick Fury is the Ultimates give, version. Give or take, yeah. Nick yeah. Fury, even Iron Man, because in the, in the beginning you weren't sure, and at the end, he when he announces that he's Iron Man, it became the Ultimate Iron Man at that point. Okay. Because that's a big difference between the regular universe and okay. well, that and the wild drinking um, is, is a big difference. So they've pretty much landed these square in the Ultimates universe. Anything in that genre. Like the Thor and the Iron Man, and then once they embraced it, they went for it. Okay. So. All right. Yeah. I didn't know that. Good to know. Yeah. Uh, ju just, just for reference, yes. Earth one, two, three, A, B, S, and X were much easier to understand than the multiple universes in Marvel. That's all I got to say. <laughs> okay. I got nothing. What do you got there, Speaking Miss? of multiple universes in DC Comics, it's a big week for DC again. Ooh. We've got tons of awesome sauce. Yeah, I have it. I have it separated into single character-driven comics and team-driven comics. Are they in order? So awesome if I pull stuff sauce. out, really awesome mess you sauce. up. Awesome sauce. I love that awesome phrase. It's like the new hip phrase all the kids are using. All the kids are using it. I don't know. I don't know why I like kids. it. <laughs> I thought the kids said cool beans. That's what I thought. But the bomb is so five years ago. Of my anyway, Justice League number two finally is out. I think this is going to be a wet third week book, although they released number one early in order to get into the whole big launch thing. So those it's of like you who are like you that taste of heroin before the <laughs> right. So those of you who are like, where's Justice League? This is always when it was supposed to come out, right? It's not late. This is yeah, right. This is not where it's supposed to be. Not late. This is where it was supposed to be. So um, Justice League continues right where Justice League number one picked up. Uh, Batman and Green Lantern. 
having a throw down with Superman and they're all like, who are you? Why are you yeah. battling with the big mother box? You know what? We were promised Batman versus Superman. Even the cover is Batman versus Superman. But I gotta say, the better fight is Superman versus Flash. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. Yeah, the Flash runs in there. And we okay. get little snippets. Haven't read yet. <laughs> right, Flash is also in this one. And you get little snippets of, because um, this is what, five years ago. In the ago. past, yeah. So, um, some of the characters in this are already, they already know each other and have a history already that we haven't seen in the comics yet in the new 52. It is, tur it is turning out, even though we, we thought it was a five year timeline, it's turning out that it's longer. Yeah. It's not that, boom, Hal, we Hal have and Barry supers. know each other and they've teamed up. I was trying not to give them too much. I'm being all coy, and you're like, yeah, this is what it is. All right. Well, let's keep but, moving, because I think we all agree it's good stuff. But if you get Justice League, don't forget to read the text read piece. This part. Definitely. It, it's all about who's going to come in next month. And also, it kind of hints at what the backup story is going to be in just future Justice League stories. Uh, issue five? Is the Curse started? of Shazam. Yeah. All right. So, other team books we have Green Lantern Corps, Red Hood and the Outlaws. No, Tom Com gets it. Go ahead. Tom? Tom, your son. My son gets what? Giving up all these story, telling me everything. I haven't read it yet. He gets it, <laughs> gets it from someone who's been related. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told him well. Yeah, Red Hood and the Outlaws. A lot of controversy over issue number one. Issue number two is How out. How controversial is this one? I didn't look at it yet. Because there's too much else to read. Birds oh, of Prey. I didn't, I didn't really, see that. I didn't really enjoy the first one, so I didn't actually, it's not one of the first ones I reached for today, I have to admit. Um, oh. Birds of Prey, team book. We also have DC Universe Presents Dead Man with a bizarre cover. I'm gonna not, that. Um, not a kid friendly cover. Uh, okay, so also Batman, continuing uh, Scott Snyder's lauded run. Everyone's enjoying that. And uh, it's still graphic, not comfortable to see. Catwoman, more of your soap opera. Wonder Woman, you looked at this one this morning, right? Yes, loved it. Loved it, awesome. Supergirl, I enjoyed this, although the, the fisticuffs between the two of them went on, I think, a little bit too long. They could have advanced the story a little faster, but it was enjoyable. Um, nothing new, I mean, this is, what? No, I was, was, I was gonna say, not my Wonder Woman, but I'm but loving the story, it. yeah. yeah. Nightwing, it's better than the first. I'm looking forward to reading this one. I, I did enjoy the first one, number one. Captain Adam, continuing J.T. Krull's Captain Adam. Yeah, okay. Okay, and uh, Blue Beetle, that one ended on a big, oh my goodness, what's going to happen next? So I'm looking forward to number two to see um, how Jaime deals with uh, Scarab. Because he's got to deal with it because they continue on. Um, okay, two more minutes. Two more minutes? Do we let that talk? No, 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 let's not let it. Go for it. Go for it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, DC, go ahead. DC, Legion of Superheroes number two. Daxamite terrorists on the run. I hate when that happens. And I started playing DC Online, DC Universe of Legends. This is all about Green Lantern and the Sinestro Corps. Um, I'm assuming they're pushing the new uh, addition to the game with that. In the game, I'm just getting beaten by Grad's minions. Okay, speaking of Legion of Superheroes, we have today from IDW, Star Trek Legion of Superheroes crossover. Sight unseen, my pick, because she wouldn't give it up this morning. I know, and I still didn't get around to reading it. I'm so excited to read this, I cannot tell you. But I, 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 I'm going to need a big block of time to sit down and really pour over it. Oh, it looks man. amazing. It's a nice, heavy paper stock. They put a lot of money and effort into this. It, do, you, do you know what looks amazing? What? Upcoming issues with the Klingons and the Kuns together. Oh, cool. Oh, man. Awesome. Fans of both universes, bringing them together, it's going to be, I hope it's going to be a really great ride. So... Okay. Original Star Trek crew. Yeah. And the cool Legion. The cool Legion. Well, tell you what, we're out of time already in our first segment. <laughs> so much so, to talk about. So much to talk about. We will we will get more done in the next segment. So don't go anywhere. Be right back with more of the All Things Fun Vidcast right after this.